All right, so in this video, I want to talk a little bit about the resource database. So let's go and get our slide going. Oh, there we go. So the resource database is a read-only database that contains all the system objects that are included with SQL Server, i.e. the second master database. So the files associated with the resource database are not called resource MDF and, and resource LDF. They're, here is the name, MS, SQL, System Resource, MDF, and LDF. All right, it's interesting, isn't it? And I'm sure they call it the resource database, so we didn't have to say this every time we wanted to talk about it. So here's the name of the database again, like I said, that's the, the real name of the MDF and the LDF. The location of where it's installed, it's on the drive where you install SQL Server in the bin directory. Each instance of SQL, SQL Server, blah, 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 excuse me, has only one of these. Right. And you can't find this with the rest of the system databases. All right, so let's escape out of this. Let's go look at the system databases to see. And sure enough, master model on MSD, MDB, and the resource database or the MSSQL resource database is not there. So we'll find our place again and we're moving on. So since it's not there, since it's not a database that we can see visually, it's, it's hidden, we can't use the same, uh, the traditional backup, and restore, anything. We can't use anything that we do with the SQL Server database on this resource database. All right. However, you can back it up, and you back it up doing a traditional, uh, just like it's an EXE. You would right-click, copy, and move it off to a different location. So one little caveat there, after restoring this database, you need to reapply any subsequent updates. Uh, the purpose of this database is to speed up, up the upgrading process. All right, it's, it's basically a, it really is a, 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 another master database that you and I can't muck into, that we don't have our hands on and can't do anything with. All right. In earlier versions, upgrading required dropping and creating the system objects because of you and I might be mucking in it. Uh, and now they can just copy over it and, and move on. So let's go take a look at the location of this. So where was I? Let's go over here to one of these. Yeah, where is it? The bin. Here it is. You can see my path here for my uh, installation, the bin, and there it is. Now, let's see. There, there's the MDF, LDF. Let's. Ooh, let's see. Uh, will this work? Kill Bill. Mm -hmm. It's open. <laughs> of course, it's open. Not now, it won't be. Yes. So let's stop it. And let's go back and kill it again. And what happens when we start SQL Server? You think it starts up? I'm guessing not if that database is as important as everyone says it is. That no. So, what do we do when we see this? We certainly can't go look at the SQL Server error logs because we can't get to them. So, the event viewer will tell us what's going on. So, let's go to the application log back. I want to refresh. Let's look for red. And there it is. All right. So, uh, the couldn't find it. It tells us. The problem is with the LDF, the MS, SQL, System, Resource, Databases, LDF. Correct it and move on. Well, wh what if we what if we didn't muck with it? What if we come back here and and there was something wrong with it? All right, well, where do you where do you get another one? Well, there are a few tricks. Let's look at one of them right now. Uh, the one is to go to the installation media. And here's my installation media. Um, Oftentimes, uh, DBAs will leave the installation media on one of the drives of 
the server where they're doing the install, which who knew that would be a good idea. So we come here and we know this is the installation media. And uh, we will check, but here's a, a quick check to if, um, I'll talk later about how we check to make sure that this version is, is works in conjunction with the resource database that we're going to restore. But I know that it does because it's, I just installed it from here. But if you, you did want to check out the particular installation, we can come to details and there is our product version right there. Okay. All right. And we'll do that. I'll do that later in a later video. For now, we want to find the BMDF and the LDF on here. So I'll come in, I'll do an LDF search. And certainly none of those look like the MS SQL server or resource database. However, <laughs> this is all right. I have no idea why. Uh, I'm going to guess it has something to do with the fact it's a, a, this is a, a beta. I don't know. That's weird, isn't it? Check out the name. All right, but if I look at that, I can tell that that is the resource database. All right. So I'm going to come. I'm going to copy this LDF. I'm going to come here to the, where's my bin directory of where I just blue kill Bill. I'm going to paste it in there. I'm going to paste it in there. You're not listening to me, computer. And I'm going to come down here, and oh, I'm going to do it the easy way. I don't have to type that thing again. So let's go here, rename. Let's copy him out, and let's move on. Where'd he go? Oh, I hate that he's hiding on me. I'll type. Rename him. Now, so we have three, right? I have my uh, two of the, the exact same size. And this one is the kill bill is still dead, right? We're pretending that something happened to this one. So let's see if I copied it, that one from the installation media. And let's see if that'll restart. Maybe. Fingers crossed. There we go. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, so oftentimes, uh, most people won't. They they won't back up. The, matter of fact, a good number of DBAs, especially mid level and down and on lower, don't even know what the resource database is. Uh, so is it a good idea to back it up? Yeah, it probably is. Number one, it's just easy to do, right? You come you come into the your installation, you right click, you copy, and you put it in another folder somewhere that's, you know, somewhere else that's safe. Um, Probably a good idea. Uh, if not, uh, I will show you in a later video how we can uh, recover this another way if we do not have the installation media. All right, thank you so much for watching. Appreciate any feedback. Have a good day.